So the first game I'm going to be talking about today is Banjo-Tooie. And in Banjo-Tooie, there's a pretty cool mechanic called the Delayed Cutscene Warp, or DCW for short. And it's a crazy skip mechanic in Banjo-Tooie that allows you to skip roughly two hours of the normal speedrun and go straight to the final boss. You can start this glitch by blowing up the rocks in the fuel depot, then go to Witchy World and hit the switch to open the gate. By using the platform, you'll be able to skip the cutscene and it'll be played the next time you enter the fuel depot. Since this cutscene is able to be triggered from multiple locations, the game reads from memory, last cutscene played. From the main menu, if you choose Hag 1 cutscene, it will be played whenever you enter the fuel depot, and since this cutscene triggers a battle, you will be in the last battle in the game. Once you beat this battle, it's pretty much game over. The next game we're going to be looking at is Dark Souls 2. Parry walking in Dark Souls 2 is a glitch used by any percent speedrunners to be able to go out of bounds and fly in game. This can be used to skip a lot of the game and saves over half the amount of time from any of the other runs. In order to parry walk, you must first find an enemy and then parry them. If you roll shortly after and press the attack button, you'll be able to fly. Not only be able to fly, but you can also change out how you fly by attempting to jump underneath an object. Loading Screen Simulator, also known as Sonic 06, is a pretty interesting speedrun. In the game Sonic 06, the Mission Select Glitch is a glitch that basically allows you to skip through missions and skip a very large percentage of the game. The glitch works by attempting to accept a mission from a townsperson. While the screen for accepting the mission is up and Sonic dies, he'll be respawned with the mission select window still up. While this is up, you can accept a mission from another person, or more importantly, a storyline character. You can accept the townsperson mission while inside of the storyline mission, and you'll be loaded into it. Once you exit out of the townsperson mission, the game will think that you're not in the mission anymore, but you actually are still in a mission which would be the storyline mission. So when you complete the storyline mission, the game won't know where to put you, and you'll end up going right to the credits. Now, this is for the any percent version of the skip. This glitch can be used in a lot of other ways, but I won't be getting into those, at least not for this video. Now, I know this video is supposed to be top 10 skips, but Donkey Kong 64 just has so many cool ones, from walking through walls, to turning Donkey Kong invisible and being able to telegraph to different areas, the intro story glitch, which allows you to unlock loads of things in the main menu and use them in story. There were actually too many great skips for me to pick one, and overall an exciting run. If you want to learn more about some of the glitches in this run, I urge you to watch 2 DOS's Any% Percent Run at Summer Games on Quick 2016, which I'll be linking on the screen. In Super Meat Boy, there's a glitch that's only available in the PC version of the game that allows players to go through walls. I'm not sure if there's a specific name for this glitch, but it's done by pressing the ALT key, which makes the game go to 0 frames per second, allowing the player to go through walls. This is a pretty broken mechanic in the game, and it makes the speedrun go all the way down to 4 minutes, but still, nevertheless, it's a pretty crazy skip. Proxies are a very broken mechanic in the Spyro franchise. A proxy is performed when Spyro attempts to go into an area or object when there isn't any room for him, which makes the game propel him in all sorts of different areas. This glitch is used a few times in the Any% percent Spyro 2 run, and in Winter Tundra, Spyro uses a dead body proxy on a penguin to shoot himself over the barrier, which you would normally need to pay money bags to unlock the head bash to break the rock, and then a waterfall proxy to skip your way into the final boss, Ripto. This glitch, among many others, has helped speedrunners get this any percent speedrun done in 9 minutes. This is what happens when you listen to one of my mixtapes. In Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, there is an insane glitch known as the Doghouse Glitch, which has allowed speedrunners to beat this game in under 2 minutes. This glitch puts Link into a corrupted version of this game's dungeons, and is done by touching a warp door from an unintended direction. Differences in the maps that Link gets depends on his kill counter. In this speedrun, Link kills two enemies and enters a doghouse from the north side by wall clipping, or plainly walking to the corner of the wall. By taking the correct route, the speedrunner will be able to get to the last boss fight in the game and beat it. The backwards long jump is one of the most heavily abused glitches in Super Mario 64. In order to do this glitch, you must first find stairs and then turn around. Then after inputting a long jump, you hold backwards on the stick and tap A button, and Mario will be propelled at insane speeds. This glitch is used to get to the top of the endless stairs in Princess Peach's castle, and Mario can get to the door that requires 70 stars to pass through because Mario reaches the top of the stairs too fast for the game to register. This glitch has helped speedrunners get to the 0 or 1 star speedrun for this game underneath 7 minutes. In the generation 1 and 2 Pokemon games, red, blue, and yellow, and green if we're being technical, there's a glitch known as the Save Corruption Glitch. This glitch requires the player to restart their game right after saving it. When the game is reloaded, the player will have 255 Pokemon in their party. By switching Pokemon past the 6th slot, the game accesses a different location in memory. 
Different values in memory like items in the inventory and even the Pokedex are able to be manipulated. By tossing 138 of the item in the 36 item slot when you leave the house, you will wind up in the Hall of Fame. This allows you to beat the game with a time of zero. Our last game in this top 10 will be Super Mario World. There is a glitch in Super Mario World where you will warp to the credits. By using Koopa Shells, you are able to write code within the game to load the warp screen. Unfortunately, I won't have enough time to explain how this works in this video. However, I will link a video explanation done by Dots Are Cool, which clearly explains how the glitch works. This glitch has allowed speedrunners to beat the game in just over a minute, and tool assisted speedruns are done in even under a minute. I hope you all enjoyed this top 10 of biggest skips in speedrunning. I know there are a lot of games I didn't include in this video, but I want to leave this open for a part 2 of this top 10. If there are any runs you think I should include in that part 2, please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate it if you left a like on the video, and of course subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one. I hope you guys all have a beautiful life.